fighting for law and order, Captain Video operates from a mountain retreat with secret agents at all points of the globe, possesses scientific secrets and scientific weapons. Captain Video asks no quarter and gives none to the forces of evil. Captain Video. What is it, Gallagher? This could be the signal from the Ranger. Find him on the scanning device. He must have the information he went for to be returning so soon. Captain Video calling Video Ranger. Identify numerals 398. Come in, Ranger. Supersonic detector. I want to hear what that man is saying. I can't get through. Somebody must have erected a sonic barrier between us. That man could have been calling for help. Any help would have to appear in front of the Ranger. Turn the optic and skillometer on the country ahead of him. Captain, here's something. With a finer adjustment, I can see what's in that box. That box is filled with explosives. There's no way to warn the Ranger. Not unless I can reach him first in the jetmobile. Keep trying to contact him. Perhaps you can pierce that sonic barrier. the cosmic vibrator. We'll take him to headquarters and find out what this is all about. He tried to blast me. I know all about it. I might have known you would. him over. We'll go to Station X and see what we can do. Who are you working for? I tell you, I don't know his name. He came to the cabin and hired Elko and me for the job. Do you realize this job, as you call it, was attempted murder? 
No, it wasn't. We were only trying to blow up a part of the road. Captain. There were three men in a car chasing me. Do you know any of them? I didn't see them, so I, I don't know. Our conversation is being broadcast. What happened to the man that was with you? He got scared when he saw Captain Video coming and bailed out. Where did you get the explosives? We made it at the cabin. Jock, we're turning you over to the police in town. Take him to the car. Get up. wave detector. Are you really going to turn him over to the police? No. I intend to use him as bait to catch his pals who are listening in on us. They'll try to rescue him on the way to town. That's what I'm counting on. Cover us with the optical scalometer. I'll keep in touch by the palm mic. Right. Captain Video is going to turn Drock over to the police in town. That must not be allowed. Either rescue Drock or dispose of him. Station X off. Let's move. something about electronics? you brought. From Agent 42. He wouldn't send it in writing. Prepare to be intercepted. And he told me to be sure to tell you that he had detected magnetic and electronic impulses which he believes are affecting the weather. Has he any line on the direction of their impact? Yes, azimuth 135 degrees 30 minutes. We'll get reports from other agents then we'll triangulate. Tune the scanning device. Right. Agent 
136 reporting. Agent 136 reporting. What are the weather conditions in your sector? There have been unusually heavy rains, melting snows, swollen rivers, causing serious flood conditions, breaking all records for this time of year. Have you detected any magnetic interference? Yes. What is the direction of its source? Asthma, 47 degrees. Agent 29 reporting. Report on weather conditions. An out of the season hurricane has just hit this section. Damage is already reported as running into the millions. No loss of life reported as yet. My instruments show strong magnetic impulses from asthma. H7.3. Shut it off. Run this on the calculator. Right six eight up three seven. What's the location? Do you remember Dr. Tobor? How could I forget him? The cosmic ray expert whose hobby is weather. The lion runs straight through the spot where his laboratory is. He always claimed that someday man could make weather to order. You figure he's experimenting with it? I don't know, but I intend to find out. Take charge, Gallagher. The ranger and I are going visiting. Captain Video to see Dr. Tobor. Captain Video and party of one to see you, sir. Captain Video. I thought you were never coming to see me. This is Retner, my assistant. Let me show you around the place. I'm very proud of it. It'll be a pleasure. But first, there's some questions I want to ask you. Certainly. I'd be glad to share my knowledge with you. You undoubtedly are aware of the strange weather that certain parts of the country have been having lately. Of course, it's my hobby. Are you responsible for any of it? You flatter me by overestimating my ability. But seriously, I've been trying to prevent these floods, storms, and other disasters that have been occurring. It is possible it could be caused by forces from another planet. Yes, it's possible, but not probable. Let me explain. By using the magnetic forces of the Earth, I can set up high or low pressure areas. This causes large weather masses to go into motion, as you know. And could cause an atmospheric disturbance. Not to any great degree. I've been trying to use this method to combat these unfortunate disasters. I'd like to know more about this. Do you have any objections if I stay here with you for a while and study it? No, not at all. Thanks. I have some arrangements to make first, but I shall return it. That Captain Video isn't going to be easy to fool. Tune in on the wavelength of Vulture on the planet Atoma quickly. Cycle. Dr. Tobor calling Vultura. Tobor sure looked guilty. So I noticed. Why leave? You'll see. Dr. Tobor calling Vultura on the planet Atoma. This is Vultura of Atoma. I am receiving you. You've got to help me. Captain Video suspects that I've been up to something. You, you have been stupid to arouse his suspicions. He is a clever and dangerous enemy. Yes, I know. It might be better if I left for a while. Your carelessness endangers my plan to conquer the Earth. If you leave, it would only confirm the Captain's suspicions. I know, but he's coming back. I am speaking. I have a clever scheme. If you vanish under mysterious circumstances, no suspicion can fall on you. 
Yes, of course. That's it. You will leave at once in the interplanetary space projectile. Let me have your palm, Mike. Speaking, numerals five, three, two. Cover Dr. Tobor's section with the usual apparatus. Check. Captain Video signing off. Gallagher did. Captain Video calling control, numerals 398. Gallagher speaking, numerals 532. A rocket left that section five seconds ago. Did you get a declination on it? Yes, here it is. 96, 37, 52. Good work, Gallagher. Signing off. Now we'll go back and see what Mr. Retner has to say. How about Dr. Tober? I don't think he'll be there. Bring him to with your inertia light. Use a negative beam. I'm going to use Tobor's electronic telescope. Yes. Is your electronic telescope focused on Mars? Yes. The doctor was just studying it. If you hear from him, let me know at once. Of course. Of course. That planet was not Mars. What was it? One I never saw before. Call Gallagher and tell him to have our world orientation staff check on it at once. Video Ranger calling control, identifying numerals 9, 2, 8. on a new invention. Come, I'll contact him. Welcome to Atoma, Dr. Tobor. With my aid, you made a safe journey. Well, I don't feel safe. Captain Video is clever enough to track me down. I hope he tries. Then I shall be able to liquidate my most dangerous enemy. Meanwhile, you can aid in my present campaign, which is the conquest of the planet Theros. I have moved close to it, and I have already landed forces there. The conquest of Theros is the first step toward making me supreme dictator of the universe. The people of Theros are industrious and peace-loving, so they are no match for my trained soldiers. My forces are encountering some opposition, but will quickly overcome it. The war of liberation is being directed from my secret control room here on Atoma. I have directed a cosmic bombardment toward the principal city of Theros. 
Rocket troop carriers loaded with soldiers are constantly being shot to their aid in the liberation of the people of that planet. The prisoners we take will be put to work to increase production of materials which I need and to repay me for having liberated them. A few small guerrilla bands have seized weapons and are trying to defend themselves. They will be quickly liquidated, as will any others who prove ungrateful enough to resist me. Familiarize yourself with the control board. The staff reports that that strange new planet is Atoma. It came into view only about 10 years ago. It's mobile, but it follows no particular course. Good work, Gallagher. Is the rocket projectile ready for takeoff? Yes, sir. And I've set the controls on a course toward Atoma. Good old Gallagher. Ranger, you and I are going to join. Good luck, Captain. And um, give my regards to the doctor, will you? Goodbye. Goodbye, Ranger. on a due course for a tour. Don't be afraid, Dr. Tobor. I, Voltura, will show you how to dispose of this Captain video. What are those objects you are working on? My newest invention, electronic men. You'll see them in action soon. It's amazing. But now to our immediate problem. If you will follow my orders exactly, Captain Video will never complete his journey. Take a look in there. It's my improved electronic telescope. Tell me what you see. Why, it's a small asteroid. What you have seen are two extinct comets, drifting aimlessly in space. I have the power to make them active again. Fantastic. With these, you activate the comets. By this control, you move them where you will. Try them. Oh. Don't miss. 
this, Memo Abatoma, the second thrilling chapter of Captain Video at this theater next week. Take him to headquarters and find out what this is all about. He tried to blast me. I know all about it. I might have known you would. Work him over. We'll go to Station X and see what we can do. Who are you working for? I tell you, I don't know his name. He came to the cabin and hired Elk and me for the job. Do you realize this job, as you call it, was attempted murder? No, it wasn't. We were only trying to blow up a part of the road. Captain. There were three men in a car chasing me. Do you know any of them? I didn't see them, so I, I don't know. Our conversation is being broadcast. What happened to the man that was with you? supersonic detector. I want to hear what that man is saying. I can't get through. Somebody must have erected a sonic barrier between us. That man could have been calling for help. Any help would have to appear in front of the ranger. Turn the optic and skillometer on the country ahead of him. Captain, here's something. With our finer adjustment, I can see what's in that box. That box is filled with explosives. There's no way to warn the ranger. Not unless I can reach him first in the jet mobile. Keep trying to contact him. Perhaps you can pierce that sonic barrier. He got scared when he saw Captain Video coming and bailed out. Where did you get the explosives? We made it at the cabin. Turning you over to the police in town. Take him to the car. Get up. He couldn't fool our electronic wave detector. Are you really going to turn him over to the police? No. I intend to use him as bait to catch his pals who are listening in on us. They'll try to rescue him on the way to town. That's what I'm counting on. Cover us with the optical scalometer. I'll keep in touch by the palm mic. Right. Captain Video is going to turn Drock over to the police in town. That must not be allowed. Either rescue Drock or dispose of him. Station X off. Let's move.
use the cosmic vibrator. Fighting for law and order, Captain Video operates from a mountain retreat with secret agents at all points of the globe, possesses scientific secrets and scientific weapons. Captain Video asks no quarter and gives none to the forces of evil. Captain Video. What is it, Gallagher? This could be the signal from the Ranger. Find him on the scanning device. He must have the information he went for to be returning so soon. Captain Video calling Video Ranger. Identify numerals 398. Come in, Ranger. 